Всем привет, друзья! Сегодня бы хотел вам рассказать о NVIDIA Broadcast. Что это такое? Во-первых, работает только начиная с видеокарты RTX, RTX 2060, 2070, 2080 и так далее. Что делать? Ну, допустим, она полностью убирает фоновые шумы э, при записи. Вот здесь сейчас в ролике это все человек продемонстрирует. Ну, а второе, это с помощью и она полностью меняет фон за вами, э, без всяких там, э, значит... Э, зеленых вот этих плакатов, как они там называются. Смотрим. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon and I'm very excited today to talk to you about our NVIDIA broadcast app. Like many of you, I've been home a lot more lately. I've been video conferencing all day and then gaming and streaming all night. And I have a very basic webcam and microphone setup. NVIDIA broadcast makes these things supercharged with a lot of new awesome features. They really bring it out using the power of AI and RTX GPUs. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is noise removal. So I well, asked my we'll girlfriend to join me with a blow dryer here. And that distracting sound <sighs> makes it very hard to understand what I'm saying. But when I turn on noise removal in NVIDIA broadcast, so, you find that it's completely gone. And that, that, that blow dryer is still going. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> Sometimes, though, the audio issue isn't on my end, but on someone I'm talking to. So I've also asked my friend Jade, who I play Valorant with, to join me so I can apply noise removal to his loud mechanical keyboard. Jade, are you there? Hey, how's it going? It's going well, man. I need you to give me some of that platinum level Valorant advice that you've given me before, but this time with that keyboard going in the background, and we're going to test the uh, NVIDIA broadcast feature. Sure. Make sure you Pretty work sure. on your aim. I always recommend to stand still when you're shooting. And you should definitely learn the callouts for So if you guys are listening, I can barely understand that advice he's given me and I'm staying stuck in silver. And what I need to do is turn on the NVIDIA broadcast app. And let's sure. try that again one more time. Make sure you work on your aim. I always recommend to stand still. No, it's removal. And you should definitely learn the callouts for each map. And there it is. Thank you so much, Jay. Appreciate it. But NVIDIA no, broadcast isn't just awesome audio features. There's some really exciting video features as well. Let's take a look. First up, we have the ability to blur your background, which you may notice that I need because I have a very cluttered and messy room. But when I turn this background blur feature on... Называется, uh, background blur. All of a sudden, I get this really classy effect, and I can adjust the strength of that from low to high and everything in between. Oh, Or, super. if I want, I can actually replace the background altogether. Поменял фон. Просто смотрите. Now I'm going to space it with the magic of AI. It's that easy. Or, if I want to jump into some gameplay, I can remove the background altogether and jump into some Valorant. And now I'm playing with a green screen effect without actually having to have one at home. I don't have to play good, but at least I can look good. Now sometimes when I'm video conferencing or doing a just chatting stream, I want to zoom in to get a more personal connection with the audience. But the problem is, I bounce around so much, it's easy for my head ну, короче, to get out of frame. With the auto frame feature, it's like having your own personal cameraman frame, that follows you wherever you go. So, if for example, I wanted to reach over and grab my cool Valorant hat, and show it to everybody, it follows me every step of the way. Такая же функция была в Logitech C920, по-моему, или какая-то моя. Вот. И там тоже было в программном обеспечении с Logitech то же самое. 920E или C920, там тоже было слежение. Так что, друзья, вот такие вот новости, вот такие нововведения от NVIDIA. И, естественно, точнее, к сожалению, работают только на RTX видеокартах это 2000 серии и дальше. Так что вот, собственно, и все. Ссылочка будет в описании на статью. А я говорю вам всего доброго. Всем пока. До свидания.